It's 494-7233, safekids.org for more information. And one gentleman who always takes it safe with his kids is our, what are you going to be for Halloween this year, the World Series champion? A World Series fan. fan. A champion would be nice. I'll be a fan first. <laughs> okay. And next one, I'll be a champion. Got you. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. You're welcome. And you know, if you live with arthritis in the knees, you'd definitely be interested to know that there are some treatment opportunities out there. As we learned from Dr. Cleo Robertson, a Central State Orthopedic Specialist, Treatment doesn't have to be surgical, but if it is, there are actually different types of knee replacements. And here's a conversation we had with Dr. Robertson from earlier this week. So Dr. Robertson, a lot of people deal with arthritis issues, especially in the knee. What do you guys do for that? When I first evaluate a patient, I first of all have to find out what kind of arthritis it is. There are many, many different kinds of arthritis, but the most common are rheumatoid arthritis and osteoarthritis. Either way, whichever it is, we treat it conservatively with medication, weight loss, alteration of activity levels, um, proper diet, and physical therapy. If that fails, then we're left with a surgical alternative. But the surgical alternative is the last thing we do. And those surgical alternatives, commonly known to most people, are total knee arthroplasty, or an artificial knee. We have two different kinds of total knee arthroplasty that we do. One has to do with replacing the whole knee, all of the components, and the other is replacing only part of the knee. If one has arthritis only in one part of the knee, we can do a partial which is a less invasive procedure and the rehabilitation is shorter. If the knee is totally involved, then we have to do a full total knee. Now, a full total knee, <clears throat> this particular model only shows the thigh bone and the leg bone, and there is a metal component on the thigh bone. There is a metal component on the leg bone, which goes down in the leg bone, and this plastic component which locks on to the metal component. That is a total knee. There is another joint here which we don't see, which is the kneecap part, which is very mm -hmm. important. Now, so we're replacing the kneecap part, the thigh bone, and the leg bone part. With a half a total knee, on the other hand, we only replace the inner compartment, which is the arthritic compartment, and there is a plastic bearing between the metal components and it slides back and forth. That requires a smaller incision and only an overnight hospital stay, whereas the total knee requires probably three days. And the rehab for the half knee goes a lot faster. And so a lot of it has to do with deciding which route you take has a lot to do with the patient's quality of life issues. The whole thing comes down to quality of life. If we can't control pain, by conservative, non-operative means, then we consider total knee arthroplasty because of quality of life, because of deformity of the leg, the inability of the patient to do what they want to do in life. Central States Orthopedic Specialists. They're located at 6585 South Yale Avenue in the Williams Medical Building. You can call 481 CSOS, that's 2767, or just go to cos.com. All right, we're going to check in with Mike now at 930.